This year, more than 65,000 applications will be submitted to medical schools in California. Yes, it's really a desirable state in which to get into medical school. And we know how hard you work to be the best medical school applicant possible. How competitive is it? What can you do to improve your chances of getting medical school interviews in California? By the end of this video, you will learn just how competitive it is to get into medical school in California. You'll also understand what you can do to improve your odds of first receiving an interview and then getting accepted. So let's get started now. So what exactly makes medical schools in California so desirable? First of all, medical schools in California have great reputations, which help their students earn great residencies. In fact, some of the best medical schools in the country are right here in California, Stanford, UCLA, UCSF, they're all top ranked for research by US News and World Report. California is also a great place to live. Medical school can be really hard, so a nice temperature, a nice climate, and a great quality of life is a great choice for medical school applicants. Finally, for in-state residents, the tuition is much lower at state schools, even for out-of-state students. So now let's review all of the medical schools here in California, both the allopathic and the osteopathic. There are 13 allopathic medical schools here in California. And then there are three osteopathic. Allopathic, California North State School of Medicine, University of Science and Medicine, Drew UCLA Joint Medical Program. Then we have USC or the Keck School of Medicine. Loma Linda has a school, the Loma Linda School of Medicine, Stanford University School of Medicine, and then lots of UC schools. UC Davis, the University of California, Irvine, UCLA or the David Geffen School of Medicine, the UC Riverside School of Medicine. There's UC San Diego, there's UC San Francisco, and then there's a new medical school, the Kaiser Permanente School of Medicine. The three osteopathic medical schools here in California are the California Health Sciences, University College of Osteopathic Medicine, Toro University of California, College of Osteopathic Medicine, and the Western University of Health Sciences. To determine how competitive you are for a California medical school, you must review the average MCATs and GPAs for accepted students as well as the California Medical School acceptance rates. For out-of-state students, it's important to pay attention to how many out-of-state students are interviewed and what percentage of those out-of-state students matriculate each year. So how difficult is it to get accepted to a California medical school? Let's review the data. Admission statistics for allopathic medical schools in California are as follows. The Drew UCLA Joint Program, let's take a look at that. Average GPA 3.0, average MCAT 498, UC Riverside, average GPA 3.64, average MCAT 508. The California North State School of Medicine, the average GPA is 3.64, the average MCAT 511. Loma Linda, the average GPA is 3.83, and the average MCAT is 508. UC Davis, the average GPA is 3.65, and the average MCAT is 510. For UCI, the average GPA is 3.78, the average MCAT is 514.5. For Keck, that's USC, average GPA 3.7, average MCAT 5.17. UC San Diego, GPA, average GPA 3.8, average MCAT 5.17. For UCLA, that's David Geffen, average GPA 3.85, average MCAT 5.17. For UC San Francisco, average GPA 3.85, average MCAT 5.17. Stanford School of Medicine, average GPA 3.82, average MCAT 5.19. Admission statistics for osteopathic medical schools in California. California Health Sciences University College of Osteopathic Medicine, we don't have any data. For Toro College of Osteopathic Medicine, the average GPA is 3.52 and the average MCAT is 507. Western University of Health Sciences, average GPA 3.63, average MCAT 506. So what can you do to increase your chances of getting accepted to a California medical school? Be realistic about your competitiveness and what you need to do to improve your chances. When deciding when to apply to medical school, you should consider your average GPA, your average MCAT, and compare that to the school's averages. If your GPA and or MCAT are lower than California medical schools that you'd like to attend, consider boosting your GPA and MCAT to make yourself more competitive. You must also consider your state of residency. Many California medical schools like to admit in-state residents. Write the most authentic personal statement and application entries that you can. Highlight what distinguishes you not only as a medical school applicant, but as a person. When you complete secondary essays, make sure they're thoughtful and, and consider this fact, that UC schools screen out students 
So you won't receive an application, a secondary application, if they're not interested in you. And highlight what assets you bring to that medical school. Assuming your MCAT and GPA meet the minimum threshold or minimum requirements, you're actually gonna get reviewed by a human being. So make sure your written materials are broad appealing and intriguing so that you can get that interview. Finally, do not try to spin your documents, your secondary essays, your interview responses to fit that certain type of medical school. All medical schools are looking for diverse classes. No medical school, for example, wants a class full of students who have NIH funded research or an entire class of students who have been community service leaders. Always be true to yourself, your ideals and your interests. If you have the stats to be a competitive applicant for a California medical school, what's important is to address every secondary essay, every interview question, and every MMI scenario in an authentic and honest way. Don't try to tell them what you think they want to hear because that can undermine you. Be yourself and that will increase your chances of success. Have more questions about how to get into a medical school in California? Subscribe to this channel, visit mededits.com and sign up for a free 15 minute consultation.